Okay, so I think that uh, I'm now streaming live, so hopefully you'll be able to hear this recording. Um, thanks for joining us. I'm just quickly going to show you how to search for clinical trials uh, internationally. So I'm just going to reduce my screen there and go to the search engine for Google. Okay, you can see Google's 18 years old today and um, they've obviously done a whole lot of good things for the world really with helping to connect people up which is what we're trying to do with this YouTube channel which is connecting people with clinical trials. So uh, this segment is about uh, clinical trial talk so how you can find clinical trials. So today I just want to quickly show you how to search for clinical trials internationally or at least show you some websites which are intended to, <coughs> um, I'm just going to look up WHO Clinical Trial Registry. So WHO is in WHO, as in World Health Organization, has a search portal called ICE, International Clinical Trial Research Portal, ICTRP, and you'll see that here. Okay, and basically, you can, in theory, put in an illness, say diabetes, and search. And that should be looking at all of the different clinical trial registries, that is websites that have been set up in a lot of different places around the world. And you should find all of the clinical trials related to that particular um, search that you put in. Now you'll see here that there's a lot of records for diabetes and you'll see that there's um, some, some are feeding from the ACTRN which is, um, we'll have a quick look at that. And that's on the ACE, ANZCTR which is the Australian New Zealand Clinical Trial Registry. Um, for some reason their ID number starts with ACTRN. Um, <laughs> I'll just quickly go back to search because I'll show you how um, oh, the, some of the different registries that are here. So um, you'll see here it says data sets uh, from data providers are updated every Wednesday and, uh, and there's a schedule on when information is updated from a different registry. So you'll see Australia New Zealand Clinical Trial Registry when it was last updated, you'll see that there's the Chinese Clinical Trial Registry, clinicaltrials.gov, which is the American one, which is uh, a, a very um, highly used uh, registry, uh, not only for US clinical trials. Uh, you've got the EU Clinical Trials Register, um, the international one, the Netherlands you've got there, Brazilian, uh, Cuban, German, Iranian, Japan, Pan-African, Sri Lankan, Thai Clinical Trials Registry. There's a whole stack. There's Korea as well. And um, information is fed from all those different places. Um, I'll just give you an example. If I look up clinicaltrials.gov, which is the US one, Recently, I was asked by someone close to me about whether I knew any, anything about latest research on a rare disease, which is hemihypertrophy. Now, if I look up hemihypertrophy on World Health Organization, you'll see that there's 342 records. But when you actually start looking at the different listings, such as this one, you'll see that um, this one doesn't seem to have too much to do with hemihypertrophy. So if I go control F, hemihypertrophy. Okay. And there'll be zero, zero reference to hem hemihypertrophy. So um, it's a little bit of a concern for the search function currently on the international registry. That's why I just wanted to show you quickly the clinicaltrials.gov website because I think that the search function is a bit more reliable. Okay. And you'll see there's only two studies there that are referenced, one that's recruiting and one's, one that's suspended. 
which is is uh, probably more accurate for hemihypertrophy um, uh, because it is a rare disease and you'll see see here that there's other hypertrophies as um, tonsillectomies uh, a few other different things but um, the idea is to be able to find these trials a lot of the time uh, I'll be contacted by people that I know or people will come to us because um, we provide clinical trial services to find out where to find out about clinical trials so the international one is always a good one to start with if you're if you're really trying to find something um, that's happening um, but also the local ones are very important so if you're in Australia nzctr.org.au that's the full registry of uh, clinical trials which also takes a feed from the US one as well so if I quickly look that one up Hemi hypertrophy. Okay, and you'll see one's registered there, which is actually a feed off clinicaltrials.gov, which is probably the same one as that combination chemotherapy and surgery, combination chemotherapy and surgery. Um, but in any case, it's interesting to see that there's different countries have different uh, different registries, and um, this this will actually um, give you some uh, ideas of other places you can go in the world um, if it's outside of your locality. Um, let me know your experience. Uh, let us know how it goes. You can contact us uh, through this YouTube channel, Clinical Trial TV. Uh, this is just a quick video um, to raise awareness about the registry platforms that are out there. So um, thank you for your time and hopefully it was of some use and assistance.